happy blissful day to you i would love to invite you to come on a lovely blissful walk with me yeah we're gonna go for a walk now and as you can see it's such a beautiful day look at the ocean so peaceful so peaceful indeed absolutely beautiful so in today's video i want to share with you because um you know i was actually assisting a client and uh that basically just shared their frustrations with me and telling me that they've actually tried everything they've tried all the tools they you know bought all the courses and worked with a couple of you know coaches as well but yet um, they're not seeing results and that actually reminded me of myself to be honest and I remember I was also in that um, situation as well and this is like a few years back and then I remember speaking to my coach and mentor and I actually shared with them as well i said you know what i've literally tried everything and nothing is working what the hell is happening you know what the hell is happening i've tried everything and nothing is working you know what my coach told me at the time you uh you're acting like a victim you're literally acting like a victim and uh first i was like hey man that's like right in my face at least you can be a little bit indirect and have some pity on me but my coach told me hey you acting like a victim and you are not a victim gabriel you are the creator of your reality now your reality is your world and your world is your oyster you know that's what my um mentor and coach told me at the time and he said gabriel don't act like a victim man you know you gotta take you have to take your power back take your power back don't act like a victim and it hit me so hard because i was indeed acting like a victim i was honestly acting like a victim because i actually complained to my coach and i said why is it that i've tried everything and nothing seems to be working i mean that doesn't make sense you know, I see other people, you know, getting success stories. I see other people, um, you know, making a killing. And yet, here am I not even getting breadcrumbs. I'm freaking struggling. I'm struggling and uh, I don't know what's happening. And I'm, I was so grateful to my coach because my coach said first of all Gabriel you're acting like a victim you are not a victim you are a victor because everything is stacked in your favor life actually supports you life supports you the universe supports you you know the universe has your back life has your back and besides you one with God you are literally one with God you're one with source whatever you want to call that power that is within you and that is animating you you are one with that power you know you're one with that power and um you're not separate from it so if you think for a moment that you are separate from that power that is I an know, illusion know. it's an illusion because it's a lie the power that created this beautiful universe as you can see the power that created this is actually animating your body at the moment it's within you and it's around you now let me tell you something about that power that power is infinite and it's limitless it's perfect it's whole 
and it's complete. Now, let me ask you a question. If you knew that power existed, if you knew that power existed and you had proof, would you actually spend time with it? Would you like spend minimum, minimum, would you spend minimum five minutes? Five minutes with that power every day. Let me know in, com in the comments below. If you knew the power that is animating your body, which is your true self, because your body is only a vehicle for you to experience this 3D uh, reality. Your body is just for you to experience this beautiful world, but you are not your body. You're also not your thoughts, you're not your feelings, but you are the power that's animating your body now. Let me know in the comments below. If you knew that the power actually exists within you, would you spend minimum, minimum five minutes with it? Let me know. Now check this out. Check this out. So, so my mentor said, Gabriel, I need you to take back your power. I need you to take back your power and um, and you will see what actually happened and then since that time i said you know what i am the creator of my reality and i'm going to basically take my power back and i'm going to stop acting like a victim i'm going to stop acting like a victim and i'm going to accept that life supports me the universe has my back and that i'm one with god one with source I'm not separate from this power. Now, when you accept, and when you accept right now that you are one with this power, when you accept right now that you are one with this power, then nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you because now you are actually just telling yourself that you are now partnered with literally with the dream team. Like you basically actually partnered with the dream team and the dream team is you and God or the universe or that infinite power or the quantum field or whatever you want to call that power that's animating your body. When you accept that you are not a victim and you're a victor, your life will change forever because now what you do next is you ask yourself okay so what do i actually want what do i want to manifest right so the what is very important now that you are clear now that you are clear in what you want so now the next step is to accept that you already have it now how do you accept that you already have it how do you accept it? how do you accept that you already have it you basically believe that you are now the person who has your desire you believe that you are the person who has your desire so for example so if your goal is to manifest uh, ten thousand dollars right so the beautiful thing is you are very clear number one you know okay you want to manifest ten thousand dollars right now step number two you then have to accept that you are now the person who already earned ten thousand dollars you see so you basically um take a moment and you can you just see the ten thousand dollars in your bank account on your bank statement as a payment notification in your cell phone and then what you can then do is remind yourself every day so you're going to remind yourself first thing in the morning that you are now a ten thousand dollar owner so you could either do robotic affirmations so you could perhaps maybe time yourself uh, with uh, by uh, uh, put a timer on your phone maybe like a minimum 10 minutes and you can do something like that that i'm so happy and grateful now that i've earned ten thousand dollars with total ease i'm grateful that um i am the prize and i'm so grateful that life always supports me i'm grateful that the universe has my back i'm grateful that i'm one with god's source i'm grateful that money always spoils me money shows up um, in unexpected ways so you can do these things but as long as you 
just make it known that you are already a $10,000 owner and then you can also use a scene like an imaginal scene that implies that you already earned $10,000 so if that could be like seeing a notification in your phone or on your bank statement or at the ATM and then what you want to do is you want to get into and like alpha state of mind so and how you get into an alpha state of mind is well one of two ways either first thing when you wake up you can repeat that scene or when you're just about to sleep you can uh, repeat that scene or you could just um, focus on your breath and breathe in slowly do about say four to six rounds slow deep breath do deep, deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth do that for about say four to six rounds and that will actually switch your brain waves from beta which is just at the awake state to uh, alpha which is more a relaxed state of mind and then you can then repeat that scene over and over and over and over again until it feels real or natural to you so you can i mean there's there are a lot of methods there are a lot of tools now whether that's the imaginal scene scripting revision robotic affirmations affirmations in general you know all these tools um, do not actually manifest unfortunately you manifest you manifest because if you actually believe that robotic affirmations is going to work for you guess what it will if you believe that scripting will work for you guess what it will if you believe that imaginal scenes will work for you guess what it will and how you normally actually believe is that if you see a success story on um, youtube or instagram or wherever and then you're like oh shit, you know what uh, I'm gonna try scripting. Oh shit, you know what? I'm gonna try robotic affirmations. Oh shit, you know what? I'm gonna try imaginal scenes because if it worked for that person, surely it must work for me as well. So the point that I wanna make is that these tools and methods, every everything, I mean, each and every tool underneath the sun works. Whether that's coming to the ocean and singing Gumbaya, it will work, you know? Whether that's whatever tool or method whatever tool or method you accept to be true to be uh, for you will show up so let us recap number one the reason why things has not happened for you or the reason why the law of attraction uh, law of attraction yeah, and the law of assumption has not worked for you yet is because you are being a victim you are you know uh, uh, complaining and you are literally forgot who you are remember you are not a victim you are a victor and you're not alone so do not try to do this on your own you are literally partnered with the freaking you know king of kings you know the lord of lords you know the god of gods the power of all powers the infinite you know whatever you want to call that power that is animating your body now that power is within you and it's around you as well right now you are in partnership with that power so don't forget that you don't have to do this on your own you just have to ask help from that power and tell that power that you are now ready to partner with it and to be in this awesome dream team together and ask this power to guide and to lead you throughout the day literally surrender your will to this power because that power is ultimately you it's your true self your true identity so that's number one number two you now want to be clear in what it is you want to manifest what do you want do you want a thousand dollars ten thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars a million a billion a trillion what do you really really want okay cool now that you're clear in what it is you want you now have to accept that you are already the person who has that desire and after you've accepted that you're the person who has the desire so what you want to do is remind yourself 
that that is your new story, that that is the new you. So you constantly want to remind yourself that that is your new story, your new you. That's who you are right now, right? Now you can remind yourself by a whole lot of different means, methods, tools, and techniques, such as affirmations, robotic affirmations, um, imaginal scenes, scripting, revision. I mean, the list goes on. You know what I mean? The list goes on. So you could literally just choose any of these. Make sure you remind yourself in the morning, first thing when you wake up, and um, in the evening, last thing when you go to bed. And throughout the day, you wanna just express your gratitude that it is already so, especially when it comes to your mind, right? So you wanna express your gratitude knowing that it's a done deal. And now, how long are you supposed to do this? That's a very good question. You basically know that Batman already won, right? You are already in Barbados, you are in first class. So you know you're already the person who has your desires. So when you ask how long you're supposed to do this, it's basically you just kinda reminding yourself that you already the person who has your desire and how manifestation works is the moment you accept your new story your desire in your mind in your brain then your 3d immediately starts reflecting your new story and it will show you like signs or like neville got out you know uh, 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 uh share that you know, signs follow, they do not precede, and also bridges of events as well, just to um, kind of show you and alert you that you are on the right path. See? So the moment you accept that you are now a $10,000 owner, your 3D is going to actually start reflecting signs of you now being a $10,000. Your job is to remain faithful and not wishy-washy. Because if you're going to waver, if you're cold and hot, if you're in and out, then you're actually delaying the process. So your job is just to remain faithful, knowing that it is done already, right? And you do that every day until you see the $10,000 in your account. You do it every single day. Because remember, you are now doing it from a place of already having it, from a place of abundance instead of a place of not having it. Because remember, you are just reminding yourself that you are now the person who has your desire. You're literally reminding yourself that you are the person who has your desire. You with me? Okay, so of course, a lot of people are obviously um, finding it quite challenging. A lot of people finding it quite challenging um, because they in and out they wishy-washy, they waver, they say one thing now and then later on they do the exact opposite. Um, I mean, I've been there as well. And um, But listen, man, I actually believe in you, you know. I know that you're actually capable of doing this because, I mean, there's a lot of great things that you did in your life. And I, that's why I believe I have faith in you. I know that you're actually able to do this as well. So... All you need to do is just be disciplined and um, stop quit playing games and really just give your all, right? You've got this. And of course, I mean, if you need help, right? With accountability coaching, we, we provide daily accountability coaching where we uh, you know, keep you accountable to ensure that you do what you're supposed to do and stop playing games. Um, you can click in the link in the description Furthermore, uh, you can even, you know, uh, purchase any of our uh, meditations as well. That will definitely help you to, to shift from uh, a, a lack a mindset to an abundance, you know, mindset. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I just want to say that. Keep smiling. Enjoy your blissful day. And do not be a victim. Stop being a victim. You are not a victim. You are a victor. You are the creator of your reality. You are the god of your reality. You are the boss. You call the shots. Whatever you say goes. Yes, that's correct. You are the prize. You are the prize. 
everything comes to you easy, effortlessly, and with total ease. Because whatever you say goes, that's correct. That's right, you are the prize. So I need you to step into that power and know that everything will be fine. And you just wanna um, accept that. And remember, you are not alone. So having said that, keep smiling. I will catch you guys in the next one. And um, ciao, ciao.